With lumber prices skyrocketing and supply chain issues along with material and labor shortages, you know, everywhere that you look, you might be wondering if now is even a good time to even be considering building a new home. Well, that's what we're talking about today in this video. And by the end of the video, you're gonna have a better understanding of one, why the builders are doing some of the things that they're doing, and two, some of the major considerations that you need to think about as you determine if building a home is the right thing for you or not. And we're getting started right now. Hi and welcome back. My name is John Farron. I'm a realtor with Home Smart Lifestyles right here in Queen Creek, Arizona. You know, buying a new home can be one of the most challenging yet rewarding experiences that you might ever experience in your entire life. It's probably the largest financial transaction that you'll ever make. So there's a lot of things that you really need to consider and it's a decision you don't want to just rush into. As I'm sure you know, the cost to build a new home has just gone up so much over the last 18 months that it's led a lot of people to even reconsider if they even want to get into building a new home right now because the prices are so high. Many of you are probably wondering if you should just wait a while hoping that prices will go down while others are wondering if home prices are going to just continue to soar through the roof. Well here's the bare naked truth. Building a home right now absolutely is going to cost you more than it would have two years ago before the COVID pandemic struck and it's going to be a lot more difficult because of the labor and material shortages that we're experiencing. The cost of most building materials has gone up dramatically, especially lumber, which has more than doubled in pricing over the last 18 months. And I know you're probably not gonna feel sorry for the home builders, but they've seen an average of a 35% increase in their cost over the last 18 months or so. And so yes, it is tougher and more expensive to build a home today than it might have been a couple of years ago. For example, two and a half years ago, uh, my current home, the base price was about $320,000. Today, the exact same model is now running just shy of $600,000. And so to help contain their expenses, many builders are now building spec homes and not even pricing them and offering them for sale until they've reached the framing stage. And this is so that they have a much better idea of what their expenses are so that they can then price the home accordingly. So getting back to the original question of should you build a new build home right now, you might be wondering if there's even any upside to doing so because all I've done is prevent the negative aspects. Well, there is an upside and in fact, I'm gonna share with you four considerations that you should be thinking about uh, kind of from a 30,000 foot aerial view of the real estate market to show you why buying a home is actually going to be a good investment for you. But before we do that, if this is your first time to the channel, thank you so much for being here. And if you're a returning visitor, well, I thank you as well. Now, as a quick reminder, if you like what you see and hear here, 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 go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click on the bell so you'll be notified every time a new video gets uploaded because I do a new video about once a week and I wouldn't want you to miss out on that. Maybe once a week. Anyway, moving right along. And so the first thing I want you to consider is, you know, there's just never been a better time to sell your current home. Think about it. If you're considering upgrading to a larger home, or maybe you're downsizing, and as I like to call it, right sizing, you'll get more money for your home now than you ever would have gotten in the entire history of this real estate market. For example, home values in the Phoenix metro area increased by 32.5% over the past year, and they've grown by more than 86% since 2016. Now, some of you might say that it's a bubble about to burst, but at this point, we're not anticipating a crash like we saw in 2008 for various reasons, but one is lenders aren't giving out those junk loans, and we don't have the overabundant supply of homes on the market that we had back then. In fact, our inventory levels are at record lows. So that being the case, we still find ourselves in a seller's market and will be for the foreseeable future. And since we know that the price appreciation isn't really going to come to a stop anytime soon, the housing market is going to continue to see growth, which means you're going to make more money on the sale of your home now than you would have at any other time. So when you do sell your home, 
You should have a lot of equity in the current home that you can use to offset the increased cost of that new construction home. And that brings us to number two, which is kind of the counter argument to number one that we just discussed. Since sellers are getting top dollar for their homes, as a seller, you're gonna do really well. But as soon as you sell your home, you become a buyer. And now you're gonna find it really difficult to find the perfect home, something that fits you exactly out there on the resale market. You know, I hate to blame everything on the pandemic, but the pandemic has helped to create this lack of inventory because a lot of people, you know, not knowing exactly what was going on, were very hesitant to have other people coming into their homes and putting them at risk. So even though they might have put their house up for sale, Without the pandemic, because of the pandemic, they decided to hold off. And that inventory hasn't come back online yet. Add to that the fact that more and more people are now working from home. They're deciding to stay put and not sell their homes. You know, according to Redfin, the supply of existing homes on the market nationally is down 21.8% year over year. And yet we have more and more buyers entering the market and so that whole supply and demand thing, well, it's just, it's out of whack. And we're seeing that happening here locally in the Phoenix metro area as well. And so to get the home that you really want with everything that you're looking for, many of you have actually turned to the new build market. But with labor shortages and supply chain issues and all the other things that are going on, that has led to delay after delay after delay in the new build market. What used to take six to eight months to build is now taking 12 to 14 months. And there really isn't a whole lot of difference in pricing between existing homes and new build homes. Now, the third thing for you to consider is it's cheaper now to borrow money than it has been in a long, long time. Yes, interest rates have started going back up, but rates in the high threes and low fours are still historically very low rates. You can see here that rates peaked at 18% back in the mid 80s and they've been on a downslope ever since. Lower interest rates means that you can afford to build a more expensive home while borrowing historically low cheap money. In other words, your dollar will stretch further because the interest rate is low and you could also maybe consider inflation being now over 6% that you're gonna be paying your mortgage back with cheaper dollars because your interest rate is locked in. And so no matter what happens with inflation or interest rates, your mortgage payment will remain the same throughout the entire life of that loan. And so the fourth thing that I want you to consider is that with a new build home, you'll have lower renovation and repair costs. And believe me, repair costs can really be a burden and drag you down, especially if you own an older home. But when you build a new home, everything is new, so you don't have to deal with the broken faucets or putting on a new roof or replacing an old water heater. And a new build home is gonna save you a ton of money over the first uh, many years because you won't have to worry about the AC or the roof or the substandard windows that are allowing the cold air out in the summertime and the hot air out uh, during the winter time. And if you do experience some sort of problem with your new build home, you've got a home warranty that's gonna cover that for you. Add to that the way that new homes are built today you're gonna save a ton of money on your utility bills because homes are built with energy efficiency in mind. And so then to recap, the four things that I think you should consider is, number one, you can sell your current home now for more money than you ever could have before. Number two is finding that perfect home that meets all your needs on the resale market is gonna be really difficult. Number three is, with interest rates at historically low levels, you're gonna be borrowing cheap money. And number four is with a new build home, your repair, maintenance, upkeep costs are gonna be much less because everything's brand new and under warranty. So I'll end right back where we started with the question of, should you build a new home right now? Well, the honest answer is only you know for sure. But if the answer to that question is yes, and you think that you and I might make a good fit, then I invite you to call, text, or email me, however it is that you choose to communicate so that we can get together and get you on the path to that new home ownership. Again, my name is John Farron with Home Smart Lifestyles in Queen Creek, Arizona, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.